So, so let me let me do a couple things. Let me uh, let me tie all the things that you said, IoT and analytics, and all of that together with what we announced today, because in some cases it's not necessarily clear to people. But if you look at how IoT comes to life, we made an acquisition of Jasper, like last month. Mm -hmm. And if you if you look at the connected vehicle or connected vending machine or whatever those are, those connect back into Jasper, which sits in the middle of a service provider network. And we have great history and depth and partnerships in the SP space. Then what happens is there are APIs and that data then gets moved back to the enterprise customer. And we have great depth, great relationships and history of working with the enterprise customer. What that enterprise customer subsequently does is they have written applications that take that data and then analyze it to create a set of insights that allow them to take action on that. A simple example is I have a connected car, I have data coming back, I write an application, and then I send a notification to your phone that says your tires need rotating. Okay? So the, the, the fundamental issue is not many people can connect what we did with Jasper and what we announced today. But those enterprise customers that are building these next generation IoT applications, mobile applications, cloud applications, they're doing those in many cases on container stacks or on classic virtualized stacks like we would have with VCE or FlexPod or VersaStack. Or they could be building applications that are running on hyper-converged infrastructure like we announced today with Hyperflex. And in many cases, those applications, if they're written in a container world, as an example, will have elements of the app that are run distributed in a distributed way. So in comes Clicker on top of that because the application policy can be defined, deployed in my private infrastructure through ACI, outside of ACI for other infrastructure, can be deployed into public cloud or can be deployed to that element of that containerized app that's running at the edge of my network for processing information real time. So all this stuff is really connected. It's just not necessarily intuitively obvious at times.